Hi, my name is Steve Spiker from the OpenShift team. I'm going to talk to you today a bit about uh, some of the upcoming features in OpenShift. Uh, I'm going to show them to you with the uh, the open source community origin bits, what's coming in a 1.3 release, which will eventually make their way uh, into Red Hat products, uh, OpenShift, dedicated container platform, and online. Uh, hopefully uh, things are subject to change. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to paint a couple scenarios um, as a couple different personas or people. So first I'm going to start out as this, this uh, employee who's new to a team. The team's been working with Java. Uh, Node.js, I've been playing around with microservices, but I've come from a, a background of, of, of .NET and I want to get familiar with this OpenShift thing that they're playing with. And I learned about, hey, there's this, this cool online uh, developer preview where you can sign up and easily uh, get started. So I'm going to do that. So I've, I've logged on. Um, I'll say my name is, is Joe Coder, so I'm going to come up with my... Uh, some playground to, to mess around with. So this is pretty simple. I'm going to create a project. Uh, so there's all kinds of technologies I want to, to toy with. I see I got some instant apps, uh, some Java, some PHP, Ruby. Well, I know uh, some of the people are working with are talking about Node.js and, and Mongo. So let me let me see what they got for Node.js. So, well, cool. There's a Node.js 4. I'll just go ahead and grab this. Um, give it some name, so I'll say oh, it's my web app. That sounds good. Um, I wouldn't, I'll play around with the example they've given to me, and okay, this sounds good. Let's just create this application. Okay, so I see I can manage my app. I can get some command line tools. Uh, for now, I'm just going to play around with the uh, online bits. So um, through the web browser. So let me continue here. Okay, great. So I see some things are going on here. Um, my web app that I created, uh, it looks like the a build is running. So if I wanted to, I could click on that. I see oh, there's some logs here. I uh, love logs. Um, well, it looks like it uh, pulled down all the dependencies. It's already pushing the the image back up that it had been built. It looks like, and it's. Uh, it's almost done, so let me go back to the overview and see what I've done. Uh, health checks. Um, sounds important. I'll check back on that later. But now I just want to get something going in my playground. So no deployments. I have no group services. Okay, I see a deployment's now kicking off because the build completed. Great. I do remember that I wanted to connect a database to this, and then I mentioned the word Mongo was commonly used. So I'll come over here and I'll I'll ping a friend and say, "Hey, you know, I'm new to the team. What do you recommend?" And you know, oddly enough, they just give me this big blob of of JSON to play around with, um, and say I can just import it. And I'm like, I'm not sure what that really means, but I can see here that I have a an import YAML JSON. Uh, I would have expected it checked in the source control some point, but I won't get on my friend for that right now. So I'll flip over. I'll take a look at what the, they gave me. I'll grab um, the Mongo database template. And, well, I'm glad he gave me that file because I probably would have struggled a little bit typing all this in. Um, maybe there was something back here in this catalog, but... I trust my, my new coworker. I probably should use what they gave me. Yeah, I probably want to apply it and just use the results of that template. So, okay, parameters. Typical developer. I take all the defaults and come back. Overview. Okay, cool. So I see uh, my web app's been running. Um, the build had completed a little bit ago, and now I'm starting to see some metrics that are involved uh, with this. So I'm going to hand this out to a couple friends as I'm not hacking on it. I might want to make sure that there's some uh, um, high availability. So if my application goes down and the time it takes to come back up, that people aren't you know experiencing any downtime. So let me go ahead and scale this up just to have some uh, backup services there. So I see now my Mongo database is firing up. Well, that's as good. So, uh, since I'm I'm 
using this Node.js front end to this back end, I'm going ahead and group this service together. So let me do that. Go here, grab the Mongo. So that's nice. It it tidies it up a bit. It allows me to see them together, linked together as I uh, think of them logically of how I uh, use my Node.js front end to consume my Mongo DB back end. Well, okay, so I guess I'm familiar with the platform now. Uh, I would like to play around with a couple other things. So um, one is like, I, I know the technology better that I have, but I didn't really look for .NET. Well, I see there's some .NET stuff here. That's that's cool. Um, let's just give it a simple name. I'll try the sample that comes with it. Uh, again, some guidance and I'll flip back over to the overview to see what's going on. Uh, see, it builds running already. I can jump over and see the logs. I can file the logs, and oh yeah, I'm I'm used to seeing all this where it's pulling the uh, some dependencies and uh, now getting ready to perform the build. So this is this is familiar territory to me as well. So all oh, this is good. So. Um, Certainly, it was easy for me to get going with Node.js. I'm now able to use the technology that I'm familiar with, um, the .NET stuff, and I can start playing around with this as well. Uh, so good, as that's going on along building, I had, uh, I had skipped something before when I was looking at this, and I, I wasn't sure what deploy image was. So I, I remember in my previous job, I used to use this other... Um, a Docker image from, from Docker Hub, um, but wait a minute. This is if I'm looking for this. It's telling me that it's actually runs as a root user. Um, it seems like that's pretty important that I know about this, and I don't I don't want to cause any issues in my my new job here. So I'm going to just back out of here, and I'll probably go with just the ones that I've been uh, told I should use or or have been approved for usage. So. There you go, you see I've easily been able to uh, walk through this uh, without much in the way of assistance, figure out how I deploy an application. I kind of, both the, the web front end, the database, and also some other technology I'm familiar with in the .NET, uh, leveraging direct access to Docker Hub as well as uh, access to uh, raw files in the back end as well. And again, I could say I'm going to leverage the same backend database service, and I could link it up to that service. And now I have a kind of a consistent view of what my app is, the front end, which is the .NET, MongoDB, and the back end, and have a, a, a clean console on how I view those things. So that was Joe Coder getting started with uh, OpenShift uh, 3.3, upcoming release, so an early preview of those features.